Hey there folks, welcome back to the channel. So we got the pickup video. I'm actually recording this a little earlier than I usually do. So we're doing this one before the live stream, which will come up on Friday. Live stream first, you guys will see this on Saturday. Uh, part of the reason I'm doing it early is because I got actually quite a li lot of stuff to go through here. This is probably the biggest mail day outside of a Comsi. Uh, and then the being two ship my cards thing kind of came at the same time. There's a little bit of a delay there. So I'll give you a little bit of a sense of the stacked stuff here that I'm gonna go through and a couple of uh, graded cards as well. So I'll go through them. I won't spend too much detail on all the stuff. I will talk through a couple of cards and then uh, we'll get through the rest of it through, the, through to the end here. So let's get this out of the way. And uh, we'll start off with this one. This one's kind of a fun one. So from the early 90s piece of the PC, this is a bit of a unique item. So this is from a company called Seasons that did a uh, set of actual patches. So we're not talking patch cards. It is an actual patch in 92, 93. So this is when Medano was still with the North Stars. And I got, you can see the patch there. So it is a literal patch. And it actually comes with the whole, the whole packaging and everything. And you can see there's a whole checklist of a lot of players from that early 90s period. All last names, as you can see, we got Yager, we've got Brian Leach, Tony Amani, Mark Messier, Gretzky, of course, Heiserman, the whole nine yards, a whole lot of folks. And then you can see Medano there is uh, number 65 in the patches of series one. Pretty cool looking patches actually. And it is kind of neat there with the North Star uniform and everything. So that was a transitional uniform I've made reference to before prior to them going to Dallas. So this is still when they're considered the North Stars and this is part of that early 90s piece of the PC, uh, specifically in that portion of the Becca checklist. And uh, that portion of the checklist is really starting to dwindle down. I'll give an update later on as far as the numbering on that down the road here, but uh, for now you can know it's dwindling quite a bit. So this is another card that was from that same kind of era. So this one's uh, 93, 94. And this one's Stadium Club First Day Issue, which is already a pretty neat card, but there's a bunch of variants to it. And this one here, as you can see, it says where it says Tops Company at the bottom. That's how you distinguish a couple of versions because there's one that says Tops Company and there's another version that says one is the Opeachy and one is the Tops version. I can't remember which one it is off the top of my head here. I'll see if I can add it to after the fact, but uh, nonetheless, I needed the other version and this is the one. So I took that one off the checklist as well. Next here, we've got a nice little parallel here. This one completes a rainbow. And this is 99-2000 Prism, Pacific Prism, and this is the purple out of 99. Very cool looking with the shine. And that does complete the rainbow for that. And they use the numbering system of having the number of, and then whatever the print run is. So this is 20 of 99. Very neat. Enjoy the shine on that. Okay, next one here. Uh, this is Dynagon Ice. This is 99-2000 Dynagon Ice. And this is the uh, Ice Blue. So this is number 67 with the small numbering. And we got the train going as always. So that's always appreciated. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Anyway, so numbered uh, to 67. Otherwise fairly straightforward. Very cool. Next one here. This is from 2005-2006. Uh, so they skipped it after the lockout year. This is the Be A Player. Very similar to one I had in a recent mail day. I'm just gonna take it out of the plastic here. And yeah, very similar to one that I had on a recent mail day. And this is the second star. So it's a secondary parallel to it. And this one is numbered to 50. So you got the second star there. It is numbered to 50 and the, I think it was the first, sec, the third star was numbered to 100. So I'm gonna put this with the other one. Next one here stands out a little bit because it's not actually a regular hockey issue. It was part of, um, Upper Deck Stars, or Superstars. And this one contained multiple sports. So this one had a dual jersey card with Medano and uh, Alex Rodriguez. There you go, Dallas and Arlington. City All-Stars. So UD Superstars. There you go. Next one here is a nice patch card. So this one is from uh, 2014, 2015, 16, I believe, Enshrined Hockey. And this is the Hall Patch. Small window, but a nice multicolored patch. And this is the silver version, numbered 20. Very cool looking. It's a nice three color patch. There'll be some more patches here upcoming. That's why I'm kind of zipping through a couple of these. 2009, 2010, Ultimate Hot Collection Hockey. This is the Ultimate Patches out of 35. So I gotta get this in a different holder later on, but for now, this will be fine. So you got the dual patch going on out of 35. Next one here is 2009-10 SP Authentic. And this is the Rookie Review patch out of 100. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the front of the cover off here so you can see a little bit better. It'll be a little easier to see. And then I'll put it on after. But this is a patch auto on card out of 100. Very cool. And quickly, I'll just show the back. There you go. 2009-10 SP Authentic Hockey. Rookie Review. Patch Auto. Out of 100. Next one here is from 2011-12 uh, Panini Dominion Hockey. And this is the um, this is the patch auto here. Nice patch. Nice on card auto as well. This is number 25. So 25 to 25. Last one in the run. Very cool. We're definitely stacking up the patches here, memorabilia and autographs as well. Next one here is 2019 uh, President's Choice, an unlicensed maker. I've mentioned the President's Choice cards on here before, but they do make some really nice stuff, especially since they take some the time to bit, make some nice designs to go along with some really cool memorabilia, and it's all game used stuff, so it's really kind of neat. So this is the Stick Rack Duel that I'm going to show you, and this is Medano and Ed Belfort. So you can see a nice clean design, simple autograph there. Sorry, clean design for the two stick pieces. Two nice stick pieces to go along with it, so the double stick rack. And then these are actually numbered, so this is numbered five of five. So very cool. Stick rack duel, Medano and Ed Belfort. The next two of these are fairly recent. They're from the 2020-2021. Um, Leaf in the game use hockey and I've shown these kind of cards before and I'll kind of show you where uh, where the current status is of these so first I have the for your country and this is the regular jersey so this is with Medano, Pat LaFontaine, Phil Housley and Brian Leach so numbered out of 35 this is the base jersey version Let's see if I can adjust the focus on that there you go and the other one that I picked up this time around was also the gold version so this is the gold patch one of one. It's the same. Same four players. LaFontaine, Medano, Phil Housley, and Brian Leach. Nice patch on the Housley and the Medano. Very good. So gold one of one. So with these two, I'm not quite at the rainbow, but I am making great progress towards it. I'll give you guys just a little bit of a sense of it. I did put it on my Instagram just to show you. But these two go along with uh, my others. So I've got the out of two... I've got the out of three, the red out of three. Let me just uh, just focus there. Out of three. And then we got the magenta out of five and the green out of five. So six of them. I need two more. So I need the purple and I believe the platinum blue. With that, uh, that'll actually complete the set of these and get me the rainbow. So I do at least have the one of one this time around, which is always nice. And we're making some progress on this. I know this one's flipped, but uh, I got to move it in the holder. Very cool, we're making progress. All right, this next one is gonna be actually a pretty neat card. I know that sounds redundant, but at the same time, I really like the patches and the player selection on this card. So this is a 2007-8 in the game, Heroes and Prospects, and this is a quad patch. So quad emblem. This is all the players showing in their junior days. Now oh, this one might actually be when he's, uh, well, it might still be junior days. But anyway, it's Vincent LeCavier, Joe Thornton, uh, Medano, very young Mike Medano, and then Joe Sackick, all from their junior days. And you can see uh, Joe Thornton is not there with his signature beard now going these days. All the guys are much younger here. Uh, but pretty nice patches as well. You got this going on. And these are from their pro jerseys, so Tampa Bay Lightning, the Dallas Stars, and the Colorado Avalanche. And what's nice about these is, and it says it on the back, this is a silver version out of nine, and they are game-used pieces. Game-used Sackick, game-used Medano, game-used Thornton, Boston Bruins jersey, and game-used Vincent LeCavier, Tampa Bay Lightning. So this looks like it's part of the bear, which is actually pretty sweet. So even though they're small windows, they've actually got pretty decent patches to go along with all of them. So that's actually pretty neat. Testament to how much is going on with this mail day. I, like I showed you that uh, I'm, I'm skipping past a lot of this stuff because there's more to come. I've still got more stuff to show you. Uh, this is 2018-2019, the cup. And this is the Hall of Fame uh, kind of manufactured patch auto. So there's a kind of a bookend on Medano's career. So from his junior days uh, to after he was in the Hall of Fame. So there you go. That's a pretty neat card. 
This one is actually an upgrade, I guess, from the patch of the one that I already have. So this one isn't a new one for the collection, but it is probably going to replace the other one. 2009-10, uh, UD the Cup, signature patches. So that's a nice patch there, clean autograph that you got there. Part of the Dallas Stars emblem there. I think it's one of the shoulder patches. So very cool. Nice card. We're getting there. I got a couple of neat ones here to finish this off with. And then, like I said, a couple of slab ones. This one's technically slab, but not exactly. Um, I've mentioned before, I'm not a huge fan of the vault cards. However, that said, this one was interesting enough that I made a bit of an exception. Because to me, they're, they call them one of ones. They put the little label on there, but I don't consider them to be exactly. So this one was actually from 2009. Uh, this was from the... Uh, not 2009, sorry. This is from the memorabilia 9th edition. So they had the this in the vault and they put it into their into their um, into their product here and with the with the stamping of the one of one, but I'll show it to you. It is a jersey and emblem. Gold version of it. But check out the patch. So you got the multicolored jersey piece here and check out the patch. The price was right on these. They call it a one of one. Technically, I guess it is, but it's one of those things where it's um, it's kind of a repurposed card that they had, but still the patch and the patch pieces, the patch piece and the jersey piece, were worthwhile definitely adding to the collection. Plus, I don't have the regular version of this, uh, the jersey and emblem, so I'd like to get the regular version as well to go along with it. But this is nice to have in the meantime. Very cool. Now, believe it or not, I had already shown you a one of one earlier on, and I guess technically I showed you a second one with this, if you want to count that. Um, but I'm actually going to show you, and I'm quickly scanning through here, I'm going to show you at least four more. So four more one of ones, if you can believe that. So we're going to go through them here. So for next one here is from the 2014-2015 in the game used. It is the black printing plate um, autograph by Medano. There you go. Sticker auto on the printing plate. Next one is also a printing plate. This is going to be 2020-2021 Leaf in the Game Used Hockey, the black plate from the In the Game Used Auto um, subset. Again, sticker auto. That's the black plate. Second black plate. Next one here is probably the most unique. It is a one of one, um, but uh, I, I did show it off on the Instagram and a lot of people had a lot of fun looking at it. It was so weird that I had to get it. Uh, so this is from Leaf as well. So this is 2014, 2015, or 2015 Leaf Sports Edition Masterworks. So this is the hand-drawn and autographed one-on-one -one sketch cards. It is sketched from Zuno Studios. I'm not familiar with them, but it is them. Um, and it comes with a sticker auto. So this is the Mike Medano, or their interpretation of Mike Medano. It is a fascinating, fascinating card. I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of just want to take a moment here and just appreciate how interesting we'll say now i don't know what the deal was uh it was like uh, i've got to replace this holder or clean it or do something like you got all these dots i don't know uh, i don't know if they put like uh adhesive on it or something but i'll replace it nonetheless it is very strange um but yeah just like look at this image here and uh, that's their interpretation of mike Bedano. just gonna zoom in there for a second and uh interesting we'll call it that it is interesting an interpretation indeed so there you go that is another one of one, so that's the third in a row. Um, I'll save the last one uh, for the very end, but I'll show you one of these here. Uh, this is from 2021 Leaf Pearl Hockey. So Leaf Pearl, see? That picture was so awe-inspiring, it even uh, messed with the focus of the camera. So anyway, uh, so Leaf Pearl Hockey, and this is the Pearlescent Patch. So I hadn't really gotten a lot of these Pearl cards. In fact, these might be the first couple of the next two uh, that I've ever received. And uh, actually, let me, let me show you something with this. Um, so the Pearl cards, uh, the 2021 edition, come with a little felt bag for all the cards, apparently. So, kind of neat looking. So inside the felt bag is the card. And there is the Pearlescent patch. Red Spectrum, number three of three. Very cool looking, and it is a nice patch. Pretty sweet. Get a nice three-dimensional thing going on with it. Very cool. Like I said, it comes with a lovely pouch to go along with it so there you go and the last one that i'm going to show you before i get to the graded ones here at the end is also a patch one 
and this will be one of the ones that'll stick here. Uh, actually, no, uh, believe it or not, I'm gonna I'm gonna end on a couple of baseball cards. Believe it or not, because uh, they were kind of fun ones that I added. But this one's a cool card too. So again, from the pearl uh, pouch, and this time around, I'm gonna give you a one of one to finish off the one of ones. So this one is a Paragon Signatures Gold one of one dual patch auto of Mike Medano and Tony Romo. So you're getting the Dallas connection on that. So sticker autos for both, but a very cool looking card for sure. And another one of one. And I think uh, if I do my math right, two, three, four, I wanna say five one of ones on this mail day. So pretty solid. Uh, six, I guess, if you count this one. So I leave that to you, but uh, either five or six, either way, that's really good. I'm not gonna complain about that for sure. And a lot of uh, low numbered stuff, patches and the whole nine yards. But I wanted to finish off on a couple of graded cards. Kind of some interesting uh, different parts of collection. Uh, you guys know I've collected some wrestling cards and uh, I'm a fan of AEW and kind of the stuff that they do. So I got, uh, I picked up one of the cards from the all in kind of um, box set that they picked up. So we got the Britt Baker DMD. I'm not sure if this would be constituted a rookie card, but as far as I know, this is probably the first one. It is the non-graded version, uh, sorry, the non-subgrade uh, version of it, uh, which leaves a tremendous amount of white space. Still not a fan of the whole label with the CSG thing, but there you go. Very, uh, these were available only in box, uh, box set form. Uh, very interesting. If you do ever check it out, if you have any interest in professional wrestling, you can check out this set. It has Kenny Omega, it has MJF, it has a variety of other ones, and I'm going to try to pick up some of those other ones as well. But there you go thought I would grab that one and in the CSG it was a little bit less expensive than some of the other versions out there but the box set was available pretty inexpensively unfortunately I didn't think at the time to pick it up I should have because then I could have had the whole set it would have been a little easier but what I want to finish with here is actually two um, additions to my one Soto collection that portion of it now those of you that have been following the channel know that I am certainly a fan of one Soto but at the same time I also am trying to be strategic I've been picking up some nicer stuff uh, from the Soto portion of the collection so a lot of my focus has really gone into his earlier stuff, uh, you know, more limited, the golds, and then uh, rookie, rookie year stuff where I can get it. Uh, so these two are going to be rookie year. Uh, they're going to be rookie year parallels, uh, but very nice cards and certainly worthy additions to the collection. So we're going to do from 2018 Panini Chronicles. So this is the optic. So Panini optic, uh, the rated rookies, and this is going to be the orange parallel in a PSA 9. Very cool looking card with the shine. And you do get the etching there. You can see kind of the rainbow going, the little halo effect going on around them. These are just cool looking cards. And this one is numbered to 199. Rip the Arctic. Very nice. So we'll put that one right there. And then this is the one we're gonna finish this off with. This one is uh, from same year, Panini Chronicles. Uh, it is the Optic as well, but this one is the Carolina Blue. Just another parallel of this. A lot of the same shine and everything. No complaints there. See if the camera can handle all that shine. Also in a PSA 9. But the Carolina Blue is out of 50. Very cool. Let's see, I like that. But I think we should probably have a hockey card on there, you know, to make it to make it right especially since the, the bulk of it has gone in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the orange back. We're gonna keep the Carolina blue. Let's, uh, let's include, uh, actually, um, it'll be entertaining for me. So there you go, you can have these two for finish it off. So we got the Carolina blue, PSA 9, Juan Soto, rookie, uh, rookie parallel, and then the lovely one of one Medano sketch card. There you go. There is no doubt that it is indeed sketch. So there you go, you have that. So that's what we're gonna finish off with. Uh, you can you can see that the this version of Badano is staring at you, staring a hole into your soul potentially. So just understand that he wants you to hit the like button on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Other videos coming up on the channel, and um, we'll definitely have some fun. And we do the live streams on Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, if you want to hang out and chat about whatever, or uh, you know, have a little bit of a therapy session that uh, you're having a tough time sleeping after seeing this. All right, that's enough of that. I might have to put that one in the in the bag. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, all right, so that's it for this one. Uh, pretty big mail day, lots of different stuff. Uh, the last piece is I'll, I'll cut quickly, I'll come back, and I'll give you the updated totals on the Mike Medano portion of the collection in terms of the numbers. All right, so I'm recording this on October the 1st, so we're in the last quarter of 2021. So as we sit right now, I have 2,212. I love all the, the twos, and finishing with the 12 is always a favorite, my favorite number. 2,212 different Mike Medano cards added to the collection. Uh, with all these new additions and everything, I didn't count this one because it was a duplicate technically, uh, but with all the new additions, I have 199 certified autographs, so just shy of 200, and 488 memorabilia cards. Certainly added quite a stack of them today, and certainly added quite a stack of the autographs as well. And one of ones as well, I don't know what the one of one count is, I have to look into that later, but definitely added five more uh, to this with this mail day, certainly. I don't expect uh, subsequent mail days to be this crazy, um, but definitely this was a big one as far as uh, some interesting pieces. I do have some other fun stuff coming in as well, but uh, you know it'll be a little bit more piecemeal going forward. But this was a this was a fun one, definitely to have uh, new additions. Anyway, that's it this time around. Thanks as always for watching. Comments and questions are welcome. We'll catch you in the next one.